Hello, Nuggets. All right, so I almost didn't make a video log today. It's kind of late. What is it? It's nearly eight o'clock at night. Uh, I had a beach day Sunday. I had a beach day with uh, Laura and didn't really, nothing really occurred to me to, to talk about today. But I also made a commitment to do it every day, right? And so Laura's going to go watch billion, Billions right now. Um, and I thought, I've got to make a video. I said I'd make a video, commit to it. And actually, then I realized, okay, that's actually the thing I've been thinking about today, which is the commitment of doing something every day, right? And how that is equally a part of the creative process. Making these videos isn't necessarily creative. I actually do feel it's a creative outlet, but I'm not pretending it's something it isn't, right? Um, but it does deal with the writing. And I find it interesting because... I imagine that there are people out there, like I've talked about Stephen King before, and I've, you know, other writers, particularly writers, right, because I know writers, who can sit down and say, okay, I get up in the morning, and I sit down, and I write for four hours, I write from nine in the morning till one in the afternoon, and then I take an hour's lunch, and then I write for three hours or four hours, I don't know, whatever their schedule is, but the point is, they're dedicated, and they write, and they put it down. And then they say, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I take the two days off, or I just take Sunday off, and then I go back to work on Monday. That I don't understand. I, I don't know how that's pos how anyone could ever do that and not lose all of your momentum. Like today when we went to the beach, I had to take my laptop to write. Now, I hardly did anything, right? I literally, I sat down, I opened it up, and I wrote two scenes. I didn't, I didn't write two scenes. I literally just wrote a little bit of an outline for two scenes. But I knew I had to do that. Because if I didn't stay in the game in that moment, I'd have been allowing myself just enough to say, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. And my personality is such that I can't give myself that leeway. I, I have to be hardcore. And two scenes is not strict. I'm not kidding myself. It's not like I'm a fucking taskmaster but I can't even give myself that break I can't say you know what you've worked hard enough you should get a day off because I'm I don't work hard enough during the week to allow that the only way I can sustain any form of discipline is to say well the least you can do is commit to something every day every day without fail um and so that's why I'm making this video you know because right now I realized if you're going to do it, even if you feel that you have nothing to say, start the camera rolling and talk. If it's crap, you'll turn it off and you won't post it, right? But today on the beach when I started writing, I the only reason I started writing is because I said I can't do this. If I don't write today, tomorrow will be a little bit harder. When I wake up Monday morning at you know, and I'm like, I'm not going to have that energy of right, right by, babe, I've got to go write. It's going to be like, well, you didn't write yesterday. You can catch up. You can start a little bit later. That's when those are the triggers that start me unraveling. So if you're anything like me, if there's anything in the stuff I talk about that you're like, I kind of like that guy. Or I am like, not I like that guy. I'm kind of like that guy. I see some of myself in him. I can tell you the one thing that works for me, and I haven't got it right because I screw up all the time. But the one thing that does seem to consistently work for me is that you have to do it every day. You do not get a day off. You know what, so, perfect example. When I have a regular desk job, when I'm working like it, when I used to be in development, I still am in, in game development. Uh, where's my last, when I was working at Naughty Dog, for example, I worked there for about 18 months. When I went on vacation, I think I took a two week vacation with there, from there. When I came back after my two week vacation, it was a nightmare. Now, I know everyone finds it hard to get back into the saddle after a vacation. When I came back, I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't remember the software. And the, my stress level went through the roof when I got back. Within a month of getting back from my vacation, I needed a vacation because I was just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm just not the kind of personality who can take a day off. Not because I'm a really hard worker, but because my mind doesn't work that way. I can't turn things off. In order for me to keep the balls in the air, as chaotic and as weak-willed as I am, the only way for me to keep this shambolic juggling act going is to keep it going. Is I can never put the balls down. I have to 
keep them in the air and hope that over time a better pattern starts to form and i think it does i actually think it does a better a better pattern does perform and even if it doesn't the hope of it at least is there so if you are anything like me and you recognize some of yourself in me i would advise don't ever give yourself a day off no matter what anyone says no matter if someone says like you've worked so hard this week give yourself a day off they're wrong ignore them fuck them they're wrong <laughs> Sit down that day and write, even if it's for an hour, even if it's for half an hour, open up that document, get your paints out, chip away at that piece of rock, do whatever it is you're doing, but every single solitary day, do that creative thing. So I did mine today and I feel a little bit better. I feel a bit guilty I didn't do more, but at least I did something. And tomorrow when I open up the document, I can pick up where I left off and it's, it's still right there. It's very clear. I haven't lost any of that momentum. All right, I did it, see? And I did today's video as well. All right, you little nuggets. I hope you had a lovely Sunday. Bye.